this video I'm going to show how to add scroll to top, scroll to bottom and uh, scroll to certain section inside our application. So for the demo application I have some document with all this. So this is the demo that I'm going to build in. So for this I have a sample application where I render the page with just a, some uh, lorem ipsum text. So let me create a component for uh, scroll to top which has uh, a component uh, for the scroll indicator or uh, scroll to top indicator when we click on that it will take us to the top of the page so this page uh, will be shown after we initiate uh, the scroll otherwise it will be in hidden state let me create a component for this I'm going to use phantasm icon now to show up I'm going to use chair or not icon with some little animation for that. So let's write some CSS for this uh, to stick it at the bottom of the page and the middle of this page. The position will be fixed. And it depends on you on designing this component so I want to suit my design so that I'm going to have just an icon usually there will be a scroll to top uh, text inside that but for this demo I think this is not needed let me set it up hide with one pixel mine is going to be a round button And the icon would be in the center. Mm, I'm going to add little jump animation to the icon. So let me add top. So uh, just a keyframe key animation. Let me write it. Let's just transform from uh, y values. Transform y. Okay. Transform. Translate y. I'm just going to move up and down so from uh, 2 pixel to minus two, minus or uh, 1 or 2 pixel let's go and check it out well, first integrate uh, going to use our uh, react plugin for uh, this is like uh, the library of uh, ready-made hooks where I just need to track the window scroll so whenever uh, window starts scrolling I will show the scroll to top button for this purpose I am using this uh, document you, you can usually use uh, document uh, event listeners uh, that listens to the scroll event to handle the same I'm going to maintain uh, the visibility in our state. Let me uh, integrate import that inside the page and let's see how that looks. Oh, 
there was some reset index problem I guess so yeah let's go and fix it Z index should be 1 now this looks exactly how we want okay there was some animation issue in this should be infinite and now the icon is jumping okay so let's get back to the component and uh, build it okay i'm going to have uh, the visibility in uh, the state based on that i will render the component By default, I'll set it to false. So, if it is not visible, then we will render null from this component. That way, um, the component will not be rendered with the start to top button. And I'm going to use effect hook to track this uh, page offset. If it is above certain no, number, I'm going to enable uh, this button. So usually I'll look over the 400 pixel. If the user scrolls after uh, 400 pixel, I'll uh, show this icon. Set the visibility. Visibility should be true. Otherwise, it should be false. Now we need to import the use date. Okay, let's get back. Now, when it's above 400, or the icon is visible. If we go back to the top, the other icon disappears. This is how we want. Now let us write the functionality for the scroll. So I'm going to use window dot scroll to. which accepts two parameter the position of offset top and that should be zero because we are going to the top and the behavior will be smooth so that uh, the scroll will happen in smooth transition so i'm going to call this function whenever uh, this icon is clicked So let's see it in action. So uh, I can see that when I click on it, ta -da, the page goes to the top. This is the functionality that we want. So it depends on you where to place this icon. It can be in the right side corner or it's in the uh, left side or whatever. The next I'm going to do is I'm going to add a functionality for rock. Uh, Go to certain section inside application. For that, uh, let me create uh, the element reference and uh, use it to the element where actually I need to focus. I need to scroll. So I'm going to use uh, use ref. It's element reference. So I'm going to assign this to the comment section. It's just some section inside uh, the document. Really, it's not a comment section. It's for the demo purpose. So here, whenever the user clicks on the button, scroll to comment section. I'm going to call this function 
which will actually take us to the component focus element. So here again, I'm going to use a window dot scroll tool. Now this accepts uh, two parameter as we saw earlier, uh, which is top. For the top, I'm going to find uh, the offset top of the particular element uh, that I need to focus. So that is the command section. This ref has a uh, document offset uh, top. So it's just as simple as that, and then uh, this behavior should be small. We'll call this function when we click on the button. Let's see the output. Okay. It should be a function. We need to add a const. Okay. go back and check it so when I click on common section it takes me to the common section so it's there was still some content or scroll left for the bottom it's not going to the bottom actually it's focusing on the user common section so let me write the same for uh, go to the bottom it's uh, again not uh, just so we just need to find the opposite top of the scroll the entire uh, scrolling portion that is outside that lies outside of the viewport so which again you can uh, use from document dot document element dot uh, scroll top that's scroll height which will return the entire uh, height of our raw document so we will call this function when we click on scroll to bottom and let's go and check this so when i click on the scroll to bottom it takes me to the bottom of the page when i click on scroll to top it takes me to the top of the page and when i click on the comment section it takes me to the comment section so it's just we are using this and this is a part of demo which will be hosted in Netlify and I will uh, give the link in the description guys so you can actually check it. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe for more videos like this.